Good morning, Mary B. Austin innovators, faculty, and staff. We are learning today and leading tomorrow this Tuesday morning, January 21st, 2020. This is Evelyn Windsor and Cece Greer. We are here with the Morning, morning Buzz. Buzz. Please pause this morning for announcements. Let's begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. Attention, Attention salute, salute pledge. Ple pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with the liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the mission statement. The mission of Mary B. Austin is to engage all students through relevant, individualized instruction that empowers students to take ownership of their learning and gain the skills necessary to think creatively, critically, and independently within a safe and encouraging learning environment. Let's pause for a moment of silence. Thank you, you may be seated. We'll pause now to give you a moment to sit. Yesterday, Jaden Hogue celebrated a birthday. Happy birthday! Today, Aaron Batiste and Abigail Oliver celebrated a birthday. Happy birthday! You are welcome to come to the office following announcements to receive your birthday treat. Here's what's baking in the bistro. Corn dog, potato wedges, coleslaw, and chips. Now let's go to Amelia, our meteorologist, for the weather. Today will be sunny with a high of 47 and a 0% chance of rain. Tonight will be a low of 31 and a 0% chance of rain. Tomorrow will be mostly cloudy with a high of 53 and a 0% chance of rain. Now back to you, Cece and Evelyn. Thank you, Amelia. Our January character pillar is citizenship. The quote for today is, never point a finger where you never lent a hand. We have a Be Your Best selfie to share. Ms. Young wanted to brag on these sweet students for picking up trash in the cafeteria. Way to own your actions and keep our school clean. Ms. Poulier also wanted to brag on these second graders from Mrs. Windsor's class. She was impressed with their attention and effort during labs. Great job, second graders! We have a few new teachers here at Austin that we would like to introduce. First is Ms. Evans. She is a fifth grade interim teacher while Miss Wynn is out with her newborn baby girl. She has taken over teaching science and social studies to the fifth grade classes while Miss Wynn is out. If you see her in the hall, please give her a warm welcome to Austin. We would also like to welcome Mr. Pryor. He is our new music teacher for third through grades third through fifth five as well as kindergarten. We know all students in these grades are, are excited to have music this semester and learn from Mr. Pryor. Let's give him a warm MBA welcome as well. Lastly, we would like to welcome all of the student teachers who are on campus to learn from some of the best teachers in the county. We know you are going to enjoy your time here at Austin as much as we do. Teachers and students, last week we reminded you of our jacket and outwear uniform policy. Please take a moment to check that you are in a proper, you are in proper uniform attire. Teachers and students, it is time to encourage your parents to buy tickets for and plan to attend our PTA sponsored annual Art from the Heart event. This event will be on Thursday, February 6th from 6 to 9 p.m. at Byron Hall on Spring Hill College's campus. This is a kid-free, adult-only event. Students, please encourage your parents to purchase a ticket and go. They, they can buy your art that will be on display. They can also bid on items during the silent auction. This is, only, this is also the night that they can try and bid on your being a grown-up position for the day, like PE coach for the day or principal for the day, etc. The tickets are $20 in advance and $25 at the door, so encourage them to buy their tickets early. 
Thanks for helping support our PTA. This event is what raises the funds to pay for our arts education to pay for our arts education for all year. We are going to occasionally introduce some testing vocabulary terms that will be helpful for you to know. We've already discussed multiple choice test items and multiple select test questions. Today we're going to share about evidence-based selected response items. These items have two parts. The first part answers an inferential or key concept. Question related to the text and includes one correct response. The second part may focus on evidence from the text to support the inference or key concept. Remember, inference is referring to the ability to make a conclusion based on the evidence present even if the exact answer isn't there. Enough information is present to help you conclude your inference. For example, if you are looking at a picture and you see a person blowing out candles from the top of the cake, you would infer that it is the person's birthday, even if the text didn't say so explicitly. You can infer it or make the inference based on other evidence you see. Here is an example of this type evidence-based selected response items questions. Remember, these have two parts. Let's view it together now. The car. As we drove to school, the traffic became thicker than usual at this time of morning. My mom was wondering aloud about what could be the cause of the congestion. I hope there isn't a wreck, she said. She leaned over to the side and tried to peer past the traffic, but couldn't see anything. There were no sounds of sirens approaching, so that was a relief. Traffic still moved, it just flowed slowly. Finally, we drove past a blue car that was pulled over off to the side of the road. A man was standing in front of it. The hood was raised and he looked down into the part of the car where the engine rests with a frown on his face. He spoke into his cell phone and shook his head. There were no other cars pulled over. His car did not have any broken glass or crunched in places. It appeared to be fine, but it must not have been. Thank goodness it wasn't a wreck, my mother said. It looks like he is calling for assistance. After we drove past the car, traffic began to move at a normal speed again. What can we infer from the passage above? It is Saturday morning. Well, I don't think so because it says as we drove to school, we don't go to school on a Saturday. The rain caused a wreck. It didn't say anything about bad weather. The man's car isn't working. Probably that one. It is better to walk to school than to ride in a car. No, I didn't see anything that suggested that. The man's car isn't working. Number two. Which parts of the story helped you make the above inference? The above inference is the man's car isn't working. So which parts of the story helped me to decide that? I hope there isn't a wreck, she said. No. The hood was raised and he looked down into the part of the car where the engine rests with a frown on his face. Definitely that one. But the stem said parts, so there could be more than one answer here. So let me keep reading. After we drove past, traffic began to move at a normal speed. That doesn't help me to know that his car isn't working, so no. Finally, we drove past a blue car that was pulled over off to the side of the road. Yes, if a car is pulled over to the side of the road, it must not be working. Traffic still moved, it just flowed slowly. No, that doesn't help me to infer that the man's car isn't working. His car did not have any broken glass or crunched in places. 
It appeared to be fine, but it must not have been. Definitely, yes, that helps me to infer that his car is not working. My mom was wondering aloud about what could be the cause of the congestion. Nope. Okay, so these three options help me to make the above inference that the man's car isn't working. The second part of the question, you may have more than one correct answer. Thanks for paying close attention and doing your best every time you take a test, whether it is on paper or computer or iPad. Now let's recite our third quarter theme together. Unless, Unless someone, someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better, it's not. Now let's recite the roots motto. Respect, Respect ourselves and others, own our learning, own our actions, treasure our talents, serve our community. These are our roots to success. This has been the Morning Buzz. Have a terrific Tuesday!